Hi, this is Ben, and I've got another little how-to for you today. I'm looking at the T3 snap plugs and tools and connectors and that sort of thing. And it basically comes down to, I really hate doing Cat5 and Cat6 RJ45 plugs. This is obviously very badly done, but this is a traditional, traditional cable and connector. You can see the pins all have to butt up at the end there. When I crimp it down, I crimp all those pins, they cut into, you can see just inside there, a little... A uh, little piece and that cut into the cable and hold it in place and make the connection and the rest. However, this isn't right. The PVC should be right up inside here for a nice tight grip and then these should only have a very small amount on the end. But trying to get these things laid out properly and straight and flat and in the right order with a narrow plug like that one, look, good luck to the guys that do them thousands of times a day. They're much, much better at them than I am. Because I'm an amateur and I like saving time and making it very easy for myself, I prefer to do something like this. So I take off my traditional connector and here is a snap plug connector instead. When my camera decides to focus, you can see, look there, there's a nice big set of holes all the way through. we still got the same sort of pins and cable grabbing and the rest of it for it. But if I try to put this one on and through, what now happens is I put my cable in and the cable comes out the other side. So I can push this, this is Cat6 by the way, a UTP Cat6 cable. I can push this all the way up inside here, so I've got a nice big wedge of uh, PVC outer sticking inside there. I've slightly bent one of my cables because it wasn't, slight, wasn't straight all the way through, but my connection's there, everything's in place for it, and it looks very pretty. Now, I've got two different tools to actually make this crimp. So T3 makes the heavy duty tool, which is the 10520, and they also make this little one, which is the 10610. Both of these do the same, same job for RJ45. They've got a cutter and stripper in them. They've got a locking pin there, so you can obviously keep it in your bag without it sitting open with a blade out all the time. And down this end is the RJ45 socket for this one. On the back, this is where the special source comes in, as it were. There is a blade on the back here, so that when I actually make this crimp, this blade cuts through and cuts off nice and neatly all these cables flush with the end point here. Very, very simple. On the bigger tool, you can see the same sort of thing. You've got a stripper and a cutter at this end for it. You've got an RJ45 with a cut, and you've also got an RJ12 socket, a 6B6C on this side, uh, that doesn't have a cutter, uh, cutting blade on the back of it. So for traditional telephone cables as well, you can also use the same tool. Uh, to actually cut it and use it, it's quite simple. In this case, you've got little ratcheting jaws on the end here. All I do is take my plug, with all my bits sticking off the end of it, insert it through, and it'll sit up inside there. And all I do is, Cut and close, and that's it. My plug is now finished. All my pins are recessed. You can see at the end here, got a nice flush finish across with all the plugs nice and uh, snug against the end of the, uh, the, all the bits of cable, right, nice and snug at the end. And look, I'll admit it's not the best data cable that anybody's ever produced, but for somebody who hasn't done 10,000 of them, that worked out quite well. Quick and simple, uh, saves you a bit of time obviously on jobs and uh, yeah, certainly good place to learn and work with. Um, one other, well two little things I'd like to point out on the tools that I rather like. These guys are rather good about putting in almost sneaky features. So obviously on this side of the tool itself we've got the wiring for 568A and 568B. So nice and easy to see, so if you've forgotten or somebody's hit you in the head, then you've got a chance to remember while you do it. And one other little thing here on the handle, just underneath, it's a cable comb. So when you're trying to straighten out your, uh, your cores from your um, Cat6, Cat5 or whatever else it might be, makes it a very simple way to do it. On the bigger tool, we don't have the cable comb, but we've still got the pinouts for 568A and 568B on the unit itself. Very, very simple. Taiwanese made, heavy duty, great tools to have in your bag, and those snap plugs couldn't be easier. Thanks very much for your time. Take care.